But before all that, a woman who was raped by a fellow student at her university has told ITV News how she wants her experience to lead to real change. Ellie Wilson was studying in Glasgow when a new relationship turned abusive. Ellie says it became so bad, she even tried to take her own life. But her trauma was made worse by seeing her attacker get what she calls a fresh start, able to enrol elsewhere while waiting to stand trial. Now, currently, only very few university courses require criminal checks. But in this special report, she told Louise Scott how she wants to see that reformed. These women's paths have crossed due to the devastation of domestic abuse. Ellie Wilson was a student at Glasgow University, winning awards on the track and studying politics. But a new relationship quickly spiralled out of her control. It didn't take very long for abuse to become um, a key feature of our relationship and that abuse was um, sexual, it was physical and it was emotional. In January 2019, as a result of that abuse, I attempted to take my own life. Ellie set up a secret recording to gather evidence. Do you not get how awful it makes me feel when you say I haven't raped you, when you have, and Ellie, when you say that I've made up... We've already established that I have. Yeah, well, the people that I need to believe me, believe me. Ellie took this recording to police, resulting in her abuser being charged and suspended from Glasgow University. But while awaiting trial, he was able to enrol at the University of Edinburgh. He was later jailed. I was struggling so much. Um, I had this trial hanging over me and it was terrifying. Um, and he was able to start a whole new life. Um, he got a fresh start. He got something that I couldn't have. The University of Edinburgh declined our interview request. In a statement, they said they do not tolerate sexual violence within the community. But in accordance with UCAS, the admissions body, they do not require applicants to disclose any criminal convictions or ongoing investigations unless their chosen degree is exempt. Applicants previously had to declare this information, but UCAS changed their rules in 2018, citing GDPR. They also declined our interview request, but they did meet Ellie and told us they've made a commitment to look in detail at the issues she highlighted. We put these concerns to the Scottish Government. How have we got to 2023 and there aren't any flags being made to institutions if a potential student has been charged with rape? Well, it's a reasonable question. All I can answer is by saying we are where we are now and I'm determined we're improving that going forward because this is about women's safety, is that a concern to you? Oh, fun fundamentally, that is what it is fundamentally about, trying to make sure that women and girls in our society are safe, and that includes the university environment. Fiona Drewy is also campaigning for this change. Her 18-year-old daughter, Emily, took her own life while at Aberdeen University. The family found out she'd been in an abusive relationship with a fellow student. The man later pled guilty to three charges of abusive behaviour, but he'd already transferred to a university in Oxford. The first thing you think is you're really fearful for other people. Is what Ellie went through, almost losing her life, is what Emily went through, losing her life, is that not enough? How many lessons, how many devastated lives does it take before we make these responsible decisions? Both Fiona and Ellie want to see change from institutions right across the UK to ensure the challenges around data sharing aren't being prioritised over the potential risk to women's safety. Louise Scott, ITV News.